Hey guys. Ah. <laughs> Happy holidays. It's that time. If you haven't watched my video on predictions for the holidays, what to expect, it's a bonus reading. It says what to expect over the holidays, then I would definitely watch that video. So I've got Tarot Mucha today that I'm going to use to do ooh, the chariot on the bottom, guys. Things are balancing out and flying forward. Yay. Someone's flying forward solo. So a lot of the masculines have like become single and they're just and they're going after their feminines. Once they've rested a minute, that's the hermit card. Once they've rested a minute and gone inside for inner wisdom and self-worth, they've realized, you know, they've gained a lot of wisdom from this getting burned by this person. <laughs> they've gone through major transformation. They were betrayed. They were, you know, it was, it's a painful experience to go through with those karmics, you guys. <laughs> Have some compassion. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so many of you were so mad that he was with that karmic, and it's like, what are you doing? Don't you see her for what she is, or him? And it's like, uh, you know, you don't see it till you see it. Then the blinders come off, and the light of day comes out, and it's like, oh! <laughs> <Woo>. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, and they've, a lot of these masculines have a fear of missing out now. They're like, I better, I, I better get my, oh, because they know it's true love. Two of cups. They're stepping into that Leo energy and they're taking charge because they really don't want to miss out. They're, they're like not able to sleep at night. If they haven't reached out to their feminine, they're like not able to sleep at night. They're like tossing and turning and tossing and turning. They want to take her out and celebrate. Oh my God, they want to make her an offer. They want to make an offer that it's going to make them both celebrate. Bring everything into balance. Like I'm not even like, I'm not even doing a spread yet. <laughs> they're doing, they're causing temperance to happen. They've had patience. They know that you've had patience. You've been sitting there looking out at the, looking out at the horizon, waiting for their boat to come in. You know, it's like, where are they? Where are they? And so they're ending that cycle of you waiting like that. They're ending that cycle of you just, constantly looking out for them and they're 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 closing that chapter they're shedding some light on it and they're gonna like they're gonna reconcile they're gonna bring all their cards to the table and tell you exactly what's been going on really matter of fact real heart to heart like just you know all right here it is just uh, let me just spill the beans here they had some kind of a tower moment that caused them to see things for how they were you know this tower moment really made everything come crumbling down but it was it was the universe's way of kind of resetting the situation to a more authentic life. It's really helped him get into the King of Pentacles energy. It's like helped him to feel like, damn, I got the Midas touch now. Because now I got a totally clean slate and now I can start a brand new life and be totally prosperous. He's gone through major transformation. This is the Queen of Wands here. Major transformation and death. He's put death to the Queen of Wands. That's the karmic person to me. So, and he's also like going to go over to that other, that some of them are going to a fire sign. And she's like looking like that. And he's like, all right, get up from that chair. Let's go. We're going to, he's taking charge. He's transforming the situation because he hasn't been able to get her off of his mind. He's just, he knows this is a really, really super strong past life connection. And he is just like, what is it about you? Look at him looking at her. What is it about you? I just can't get you off of my mind. This is driving me crazy. I'm trying to get work done here. But all I can think about is you. Oh, you make me want to leave the one I'm with and start a new relationship with you. This is what you do. So you gave him the strength to fight off anybody else's, fight off competitors, fight off anybody else's opinions, um, and just figure out a way to have this new beginning and to step into that emperor feeling. 
Look at how much fun they're having. Look at this. They're like totally goofing off. And that dog is even laughing, having a good time. And, uh, you know, he's like totally taking the lead and he's like going to take those reins and run with this. All right. So I'm going to stop there because that's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> that wasn't even, I would just wonder if we should just leave it there. Holy crap. Yeah, I think we should. Should we? The world. He knows his place in this world is with you. Honest and vulnerable with you and you only like that. I mean, you're going to, you are going to be the one who knows the real him. I mean, he's, he got betrayed. He got betrayed, but he set that burden down. Oh my God. And he stepped into the sun. <laughs> he found his joys with you because he can be a little naked baby with you and you're not going to judge him. <laughs> you know, he can be happy and joyful with you. <laughs> Oh. Anything else? I'm just going to go like this. The universe just wants to do this. Okay, is there any other message that you want to come through? Oh, they said to do the love bomb cards next. All right. Love bomb cards. Oh. Did you guys, if you guys aren't on my Instagram, you really need to be on there because I'm reporting everything the divine feminines are saying to me, and things are just incredibly synchronistic. Oh my gosh, I can't even tell you. I believe in you. I just posted that pretty recently. I believe in you. It said something about everything is energy and whatever you believe happens. So like believe in yourself, believe in this family you're creating and believe in this other person. Aw, this is that sun energy again. I always have more fun when I'm with you. They feel like they can just be like a little kid, a giddy little kid. I have heard the sweetest stories from you guys. Thank you for being such a great listener. I was going to say that too. Like as you guys come together, be the best listener you can be. I have a really good video if you want to look it up. It's called like how to be an effective listener or something like that. If you can practice that skill of being a good listener, you're not going to have any issues at all. Um, that is a good thing to ask in a reading, by the way. Oh my gosh, you guys are missing that. I don't get asked that hardly ever, but um, I have this one feminine and she's calling me like before every day. She's like, what's it going to go like? What are going to be the hangups? What could be the things that go wrong and how do I handle it? And I was like, wow, that's really smart. You know, and then I'm just like, you just need to be a really good listener. Just have compassion. He's going to tell you a lot of hard things to hear. You know, he's going to want to be defensive, but, you know, just be a really good listener, have compassion. And then it's, you know, then they have the opportunity to be the good listener too. show them how to be a good listener by you being a good listener first. Then they can reciprocate that. Many of my favorite memories are with you. Oh. And this involves even some of you who've been watching each other for a while and don't even really know each other, but you know of each other. Still, it's like you tickle their heart at a very, very, very deep level. Oh, you were there when I really needed you. I'm forever grateful. So somehow, you know, maybe, maybe watching them or talking to them or having met them, really, was something that changed your life, essentially. I admire your caring nature. Your masculine loves that about you. Your masculine knows that that's what made you stand out over the karmic. You had a heart. You like, and you guys know what it was like. I mean, the feminists have been the masculine before. They know what that's like. They've been with those partners that were heartless and that were just kind of faking it. <laughs> faking it because they had something to get out of it you know there's there was something in it for them that they like really clung to your creativity is inspiring your smiles contagious thank you <laughs> you're a gift to those around you ah! oh my gosh and like <laughs> the next card was so shy it like jumped down onto the floor it was i love you <laughs> Did you not? 
I'd reach down there for it, but it's going to be really tough to reach. Here, I'll use my Oh, there we go. See, I love you. You're always there for me. I really appreciate it. You know, they know you have their back. They know you got their back like nobody else. Unbiasedly is what I just got. Unbiasedly. Rawr. Okay. What? I, I was so shocked. I like almost dropped it. There might be a wedding involved in this situation. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. The first one out. What? Very soon even. <laughs> so trust. Trust when this person comes to you. Do not push it away. There's going to be a reconciliation from a past life or, or this life, but this is somebody that you've known and feel quite comfortable with. Wow. You've got romantic feelings for each other. You know it. You're going to be exploring that or you wouldn't be getting married. <laughs> wow. Oh, some of you are going to be getting married in a hurry. Whoa, getting to know, after getting to know each other, you're just going to know. You're just going to be like, it's not even going to take much time, you guys, for some of you. Not all of you, but a lot of you, they said. A lot of you. Wow. You were drawn to my channel for a reason, you lucky people. <laughs> we're on this ride together. If it hasn't happened yet, you know, don't worry. It will in the future. Are you having lots of signs and synchronicities? perhaps your prayers and questions are being answered by synchronistic events notice them in order to increase their flow and take action on them make a wish this is a magical moment make a wish and enjoy its manifestation wow if you guys didn't listen to that um messages from spirit the last week of november you know, we talk about that quite a bit in there, being receptive and not pushing the other person away. And um, father healing, your personal power increases as you give any father-related issues to heaven and waves of prosperity. They seem to kind of come out together. So maybe your father had issues with money or something like that or like tried to program you into believing in scarcity or, you know, something, something like that. Maybe your father made you feel... Um, abandoned or just was really fearful of money and stuff like that so you're going to be you're going to be recovering from that you're going to be healing from that with waves of prosperity new abundance and exciting opportunities wash over you now guys whoa we're going to go you know we're going to do an extended reading after this too that will go into more detail but strength this challenge will make you stronger you will get through to the other side. Look for the gifts in the situation. See the light at the end of the tunnel. I like to see that as. He's following that light. He followed that light. He's already followed that light. You were that light. Past lives. <laughs> wow. Past lives. Uh, release your past life karma. You're, you're an old soul with deep wisdom. Healing your past lives will raise your vibration. So maybe some, you know, part of the reason that he had to have the strength to come forward is because you guys have had some trauma before. Maybe it didn't work out before. Maybe one of you betrayed the other. Maybe that's why the feminine's a little bit leery about the masculine coming forward, but the masculine feels like he kind of owes her from a past life experience, subconsciously, of course. But I mean, you realize those things if you go in meditation and learn how to look into past lives. Um, and, but you got to do that intentionally. Or so, um, sometimes it comes to you in a dream and stuff like that, or a knowing. But um, some of the masculines like feel like they really owe the feminines. And so of course the feminines are going to be like all leery about it because they've been burned. And now it's like his lifetime to make things up to you. So flow, find an easier path forward, surrender the outcome, release your expectations. So just roll with it. Don't expect anything, but just stay. Stay in that really, um, stay in that receptive mode. Okay, so where are the feminines at? 
All right, where are the feminines at? What is that? Oh, huh. Well, I think they want me to use these cards, yeah? All right. What is that card? Okay. Oh, she, lo she loves her masculine. And she also has a fear of missing out. <laughs> they both have a fear of missing out on each other. That's so cute. If only they knew. <laughs> well, you know now. <laughs> Your worry is unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. Release feelings of regret, guilt, or worry to your angels. So use your manifestation abilities. You know, uh, be doing visualizations on your guys' life together. Affirmations. Um, thanking God for what you already have with this person. And yes, it's safe to trust. The ability to accomplish many things at once. Follow your creative passions. See, some of this is going to be work related. Some of it's going to be the romance. Some of, it, some of it's like some of the feminines are going to be moving. There's going to be a lot of changes coming up, but it's going to be driven by love and compassion and caring. And it's going to be guided by angels. It's because you love this person so much. And I just heard willing to do anything. So there were a couple of another deck cards like mixed in with these ones. <laughs> so I was curious as to what they were. And it was the, there's Prince of Winter, the thoroughbred horse again. We had this reading on YouTube a couple of weeks ago. Get ready for progress to speed up. This situation requires you to choose logic and intellect over emotion and, and make your decisions quickly. Things are going to start flying forward for you guys. So those who haven't come into union yet or are not communicating with your masculine yet, like it's about, you're about to, you're about to start making some headway. Gaining traction, I just got. <clears throat> Main Coon Kitten, it's time to stop procrastinating and make a decision so that you can move forward with their priority. If you need to do more research, then do so, but don't overthink the situation, listen to your heart. So I also feel like some of you, like with, with a bunch of options as, as suitors, you know, all these different guys might be coming forward. Um, I've been having some guys come out from the past and I'm just like, where did you come from? I forgot about you. Um, it's been a long time. Um, but in, in all of my like feminines are also reporting, like it's just craziness. But anyway, if you're in that situation, Make a decision based on your heart. Make a decision on who you truly love and go forward with that person. Don't, don't overthink it. Just really, truly listen to your heart. Like who, who are you going to be able to relax in the arms of? Who can you see yourself just really cuddling into and just totally, absolutely being yourself, completely relaxed and exhilarated just by being in his presence, you know? Okay, solutions. Success that comes from objective compromise, self-control, and patience for giving and healing energy. I'm trying to figure out like which one this is. Success, success that comes from objective compromise, compromise, temperance. That's the temperance card. Solutions are coming for the feminines. Answer prayers is what I just heard again. The chariot, determination and self-control, career advancement, acknowledgement of success by others. Maybe your masculine is going to be acknowledging you publicly now acknowledging I just got. Your determination and self-control, not going with those other guys, <laughs> but your determination is also going to open up a career, some kind of career advancement for you with your masculine. So, and I just got full steam ahead. I get that a lot with the chariot card like that. But look at an, an angel's driving this, you guys. Listen to the angels. Listen to the angels as to the right person for you. That, those are two purple cards too, by the way. That's spirituality. Purple is spiritual. Aw. Two hearts dedicated to can you pray here. The two, heart, two hearts are dedicated to creating something wonderful. Kindred spirits, don't give up on those you love. 
follow your heart when you make this decision. You guys are both dedicated to creating something wonderful together. It's going to be incredible. It's just going to be incredible. And very healing for you guys. It's a green card. That green card is heart healing. And you guys might touch hands. You guys might touch. I feel like there's just, I felt, I've felt this for weeks. Like um, touching each other is important in any way. Touch their arm, touch their leg, touch, just touch. <laughs> a gift of, it's, it, it, they said the, um, the touch is going to ignite and activate something within you guys from like past lives. The gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration, the chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. The Ace of Wands is a brand new passion and beginning in a whole new lifestyle, not just the same old life and something inspiring and new. It's really an overwhelmingly different life. It, it, it's like, um, I forget what the, um, what is it? It's like, it's, it's, so, it's, so, it's so different that it's like a whole, a whole new world. It's really like a whole new world. Decision, rele um, release yourself from that which holds you back. A need to detox, unnecessary worry based on a lack of self-confidence. So that's 15, 15 after, release yourself from that which holds you back. I don't know the numbers of the, of the major arcana. It's another purple card though. Setting yourself free. Releasing yourself from that which holds you back. Oh, well, it kind of actually feels like the Eight of Cups to me. You know, and birds are communication. So I feel like the, the um, yeah, the feminines are lacking self-confidence because they haven't communicated with their masculines, the ones who are reading that or watching this. They haven't, they, they, they don't have the confidence because they're just like, I don't know if I'm just in my head or if I'm crazy or what. Like. So the masculine coming forward releases her from that cage with truth. And it's like, don't let, don't let your fears or worries or insecurities hold you back. You may think this is too good to be true. I mean, it's, don't, you know, don't let that hold you back though. Take God's gift. Like, you know, whatever's being offered to you is supposed to come to you. The sun card. Life is wonderful. Thrive. Through the power of positive thinking and inspiring success. Just go into the sun. Go toward the sun. The sun is your masculine. Be in that energy of feeling like life is wonderful. Thrive through positive thinking by, you know, being grateful for everything. Oh, my gosh. There are one, two, three, four now. Four spiritual cards you guys have a serious spiritual connection the feminine's really feeling it especially because this is during this feminine time all right so anything else for the feminines where the feminines are at this week where else are the feminines at awareness Live in the moment. Be conscious of your thoughts and look for signs and guidance, guys. Live in the moment. Out of your thoughts. Stay surrendered. And just look for signs. Listen to your heart. Listen for intuitive guidance. Not logical guidance. Rebirth. Reinvent yourself. Give love. Give life to your dreams. Create a new reality. Told you guys, it's like a whole other world, a whole other life. Something you would never have imagined. And I just got Rose Energy in that messages from Spirit a couple of weeks ago. Reinvent yourself. This is an opportunity for you to become somebody that you've never even been before. Like you're going to be a whole different person. You, in the sense that you're sincere, kind-hearted and loving in, in all the healing, but better, more powerful, more, maybe a broader, um, broader broadcast, you know, maybe you will be broadcasting. 
maybe radio or TV or something, but you're, it's like you're you, but bigger, bolder, and broader. Friendship, seek out your soul family, surround yourself with positive people, spend time, more time socializing, especially through the holidays, you guys need to like stay active with your friends and your family. Don't go back into hermit, you know, like get your support from your friends, friends who are like minded, friends who are kind hearted, friends who are not poo pooing your masculine saying that's never going to work out or you shouldn't forgive him for what he's done or any of that garbage. Polarity, integrate your darker side, your shadow side. There can be no light without dark. Understand the law of polarity, so don't run away from your feelings. Let yourself feel all of it, but then kind of balance back out again. Um, Goddess, honor your divine feminine energy. See your inner beauty. Love every part of you. You are, are, you're worthy of this love that's coming for you. you. You need to know that. You're worthy of that. Okay, so um, I'm just going to pick three of the Tarot Mucha cards in terms of like how she's feeling toward her masculine specifically. How is she feeling toward her masculine? How are the feminines this week who've not come into union yet feel about their masculine? And we'll pick some love bomb cards. Those are fun. Hmm. Aww. Aww. Guys. So, broken hearted. She feels sad that he hasn't come forward yet. She wants to heal this broken heart with him. She wants to come in from out in the cold. She's been, she feels like she's been left. Like it's not going to happen, maybe some of you. But she wants in from out in the cold. She wants to come in from into that church. She wants to go into the church and get warm, need some food, and heal this broken heart. Talk about some of the lies. Maybe she wants to cut through the, any illusions. Bad temperance. Have a heart to heart talk about him hiding. Why did he hide for so long? There's also a card about surprises. So maybe she's anticipating a surprise that will be a heart healing and bring them in from out in the cold and balance things out. And this is a card to me. It's about having patience and trusting in divine timing. <clears throat> but also, um, it's like, Having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation that's going to heal the heart. So she really does just want to, she wants to know that she's not fooling herself and lying to herself, being delusional about this connection. <laughs> you know, am I fooling myself? Am I, am, I, am I believing a lie? Am I just like making this up in my head? You know, and that breaks her heart to think that she's wasted all that time. But if that's you, then don't worry. The law of attraction is going to bring you some the perfect person for you, okay? So don't worry. You're not going to be left out in the cold. I know that you feel that, but for some of you, it's time to move on. Time to let go of the old and worn out so that the new can come in. <laughs> Some of you may need to walk away from that person, you know, that you thought was your masculine because you got this other guy who is at the beginning of this video that's coming through for you. Maybe he's going to be like a surprise. I mean, look at her. She's walking along. All of a sudden she turns her head to look back. So maybe this guy comes out of the woodworks and she's not exactly anticipating him. Or maybe, she, you know, she really liked him for a long time, but didn't think he'd ever show up. So she was finally like, all right, I guess I'll just let go. And then he just shows up. Make a decision. Feeling stuck or indecisive, listen to your intuition and make a decision. So if, you, if you're trying to figure out which, you know, which person to go through, just go to, go through. Go through. If you're trying to figure out which person is best for you, then definitely. Um, yeah. All right. 
Oh, they said marriage on the mind for the masculines. That's why the masculines got the wedding card. They're serious. You got, oh, reconciliation for her too. Either a past life reconciliation or reconciliation with somebody that she already has met and known and had a relationship with. Express your love. She wants to express her love, but she has to love herself first. So she's got to release her ex. Maybe one of these guys that comes forward is an ex. And maybe they're saying, like, don't settle. Maybe I bet her masculine hasn't shown up yet. So she's contemplating going back to an ex. Don't do it. Don't do it. And Amy, if this is you, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it, you guys. No matter how much he flirts. But flirt with the one that you do want. Because <laughs> he's coming very soon. Very soon you guys will be getting to know each other. And you can trust this one. So free yourself. Because you deserve real love. Real love. And there's a wedding involved in the situation. <laughs> You're going to be marrying this guy. Not the ex. The other guy. The other guy. The new guy. The new, or the new old guy. The guy who you had the best life with. Or the one that's coming back into your life. Writing. You've written to him. All right, so let's look at some love bomb cards. Usually there aren't this many oracle cards in the, in the main reading, but maybe we'll do more uh, tarot cards in the extended reading. So we'll see. I'll, I'll ask what Spirit wants me to do with the extended reading because this is kind of a uh, switch this week. You inspire me in huge letters. <laughs> she might be a little intimidated by her masculine. She's like, dang, he's so inspiring. Like, he is amazing. He is really living in his power. If this isn't your masculine yet, it either you're either thinking of the wrong masculine and it's the one that would inspire you, or this is energy that's coming up. It's a privilege to work with you. I think she's actually like, I think he's going to make her an offer to work with him. And I think she's going to feel like it is a tremendous pleasure and a privilege to be, it's an honor to be able to work with you. Are you kidding me? Of course I will do that. I really appreciate everything you've taught me. This journey really does teach both people a lot about themselves and what they, what they deserve, you know? You're making a difference. Aww. She feels like he's really making a difference in this world, and she wants to be by his side doing that with him. You have a way of bringing people together. <laughs> yeah, they both do. They're both, like, very magnetic people. You and your masculine. Just you guys being in each other's presence and, like, walking around and you know, shopping together, grocery shopping, or doing whatever you're going to be doing. It's like you guys will be inspiring each other just by being. Don't worry about having to be necessarily in the public eye with it, but like just you guys being and walking around and existing and being in each other's presence is going to be like a love bomb for everybody around you. You're one of the most trustworthy people I know. Okay. So she is going to start trusting this. Once she does surrender, once she does stay in that receptive state, she accepts his offer. It's like, you know what? Yeah, you are the probably the, the most trustworthy person I know. I've never been able to trust anyone else like this before. You inspire me to be a better person. <laughs> wow. So those things, those issues that you guys had with exes, those are going to be no longer. <clears throat> so don't worry about that following you through. That's, 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 this is the kind of the relationship that's actually going to heal those issues. You guys will be more honest with each other. You guys will work together better as a team. You know, you guys are the, are the ultimate in partnerships. So um, just listen. Listen and communicate really well, and you guys will do fine. Take personal responsibility, too. Own your stuff. 
own your own stuff and strive to work on yourself through the reflection of this person. You know, if you think they're doing something, you got to take a look at you rather than pinning it on them and making it their responsibility to change. Take a look at what it's triggering in you and what you could change about you to become happier. All right. So <laughs> have a great week, you guys, and we'll talk to you next week. Bye.